Today we're going to take a look at Nick Lucas and Pressed Guitar Picks. Starting off, we've got a close-up of the impression right there on the tortoise shell. All these are impressed. And if our camera's doing good this morning, we'll take a look at a couple of them. Very early Nick Lucas there. And beveled. Nick Lucas was heavily covered by Will Hoover in his book, Picks, put out around 1995. And uh, Lucas was a very popular musician in the 1930s and 40s. He uh, hawked these guitar picks over a period of time, extending from the early 30s up into 1980, one of the longest runs, a span of 50 years, the distribution of his picks, sold by the millions in the 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s, started to tailor off in the 70s, and by the 80s, no, no one knew who, who uh, Nick Lucas was. Uh, his name was briefly revived by Tiny Tim, an eccentric musician occasionally seen on the uh, Johnny Carson show. And in fact, uh, he got married on the Carson show and played Nick Lucas' song, Tiptoe Through the Tulips. And so Nick was re remembered during that period of time. Now, there's at least a half a dozen different tortoise celluloids seen here. We have several ivoryoid variations and a number of variations in shade on the uh, white celluloid, as you can see here. Now, the Nick Lucas picks were advertised through the 60s as being hand-beveled. That's not true. They were machine tumbled. They were producing far too many picks to be able to hand-bevel them. But there are two on the board here that are hand-beveled, and uh, we'll see if we get a look close up of the, there's the hand beveling as you could see right there and the edges here are rough same thing with this pick this Lucas has been hand beveled as you could see right there and the edges are rough two of the oldest probably going back to some of the first Nick Lucas's ever produced in the early 1930s but all these uh, Nick Lucas's occur up until the time the 1930s to approximately 1950, since they are impressed picks. Uh, one of the rarest, and it's one of a kind, is this white marbled pick right here. And this was actually discovered in Germany, but it's certainly American produced pick. Another old Lucas, beautiful color there. And we even do have an actual German celluloid, German produced Nick Lucas right here. With the impression and we know it's German now, this thing came from Germany but what makes it identifiable as German is the particular type of uh, muted brown celluloid I don't know if you could actually see it from there but the tone of this is different than the tone of this or tone of this etc well, these celluloids actually go back to the 20s and by demonstration here the fact that they got the Lucas name on them we know that celluloid style was continued to be offered for guitar picks into the 1930s. Hopefully we could get a close-up of uh, two of the Ivoroid variations. And uh, hard to see the grain lines there. But the grain lines are present. Two different colors as well, or shades, I should say. This here is a slightly larger pick, as, as well as these three. This was the Nick Lucas Deluxe variety. It doesn't appear as though too many of them were offered during the impressed period. It became far more popular during the printed period. And we get into uh, printed guitar picks, we'll be seeing more of these uh, Nick Lucas picks, obviously with print instead of impressions. Take a look, good look at the various tortoise styles here, though, and that'll give you an idea of what vintage tortoise looks like, or at least some of it. Upper right here, we have yet another pick during this period of time whose edges were cut away, and that happened so often during this period. There's nothing I could find that indicate why that would have been cut, become popular, but it certainly did. And eventually the uh, information on why during the 30s and 40s people were cutting the edges of picks like that 
and probably even at the level of the manufacturer, a limited number were made because uh, us collectors have found so many of them now through that period of time by different makers, in fact, <clears throat> with different names on them. So that's an oddity, and uh, but it does stand out. There you have the early Nick Lucas picks. Uh, any questions? Just drop me an email. Thanks for joining me.